Hey everyone, I trust you're doing amazing. I have a combination of things for you today. So I told you that I would do a Never Ever series and I already have two videos or two audios actually. And I will link these in the description below. Or actually I'll send you to the page on my blog where they are all um, together <laughs> for Samelt for the Dutch, for the Dutch speakers, uh, collected, yeah. So yes, the never ever, I'm going to uh, give you a never ever today. And also I wanted to tell you <laughs> that I created something really, oh my goodness. Like I was, I couldn't, I was like, what the fuck? Why, what? what's going on and I'm telling you this because I want to let you know that none of us are perfect in this and I'm making videos and these are also reminders for myself and I might be a bit further than some but then again I'm still learning a lot and there's actually no further because everyone is on their perfect place on their own path and you cannot compare um, your own path to someone else's so further is not actually the right way to put it but um yeah the reason that i'm saying this is because sometimes i get a bit annoyed by youtubers that um, teach about uh, conscious creation and I ne they never have anything like everything is perfect in their life and yeah okay I celebrate them if that's true but I don't believe it the thing is the um, your challenges you will always have challenges because if you don't have challenges there's no expansion and when there's no expansion that's death like the universe wants to experience itself and is experiencing itself through all of us. So challenges are a part of it because without the challenge, there's no expansion. So having that said, mm, I will tell you more about this freaky thing that I created in a video to come soon because I'm... I'm at the end of it like there's still a couple of more days left and then um, I'm pretty sure I'm out of it and then um, I will make a longer video and I might even make it um, like unlisted so that not everyone can can listen uh, to it and see it because this involves uh, another person <laughs> and I don't really feel like this person listening to it but then again everything is my creation so I'm, I'm gonna see what i will do with it um yeah what else yeah so first let me go to the never ever it's a short one and it's a really good one and i hope uh no i don't hope i trust that this is really perfect message for you so <clears throat> never ever check to see if it's so never ever check to see if it is so and with that i mean if you are uh, working on consciously creating something let's say you're working on consciously creating mm, uh, a message from someone and you're constantly checking if it is so then you miss the whole purpose because if you are checking it means you are not trusting and we know that we don't get what we want, we get what we are. And when we're checking, we are being not trust. We are being, I don't believe that I received the message. We are being insecure. And what do you create from being insecure? More things to be insecure about. So never ever check to see if it's so, because the very checking undermines what you are creating. You manifest from being it if you need to check it you are not being it you are being someone who wants it but doesn't trust that they can have it so very short 
And then I also wanted to share something else with you, which is I was listening to an interview uh, of a guy named Plant Based Maori, and um, he was interviewing a really amazing woman. I've never heard of her. She's a New Zealander. She's a Maori, and um, yeah, so it's not so weird that I haven't heard of her yet. Uh, and she had a really mm, hardcore story, uh, like what she's been through and actually what she has created for herself, right? Because we're not a victim to anything. <laughs> we just create our life to expand. And sometimes you're just like, what the fuck? What did I do here? Why? Ah. But anyway, she said something that was really spot on and we know all these things like when we hear it we're like yeah but but and when we hear it we can play with it and stay with it longer and this is what she said she said um hearing someone else say you have to prioritize your energy only put energy there where you will get it back and i was like yeah Mm, this is so nice this is such a nice sentence to just carry with you for the rest of the week you know and just milk it milk everything that's in there prioritize your energy like neville says uh, and it was based on something that his wife uh, had seen in a dream don't spend but invest so don't spend energy but invest energy don't spend anything invest which just means that you put your focus there where you get something and well this is super logical because i know that you're thinking duh or maybe you're thinking ah thanks that was a good reminder whatever you're thinking it is so it's so easy it's so of course you should only put your energy there and your focus there where you get something from it and mm, I bet most of us are still spending too much time thinking about things focusing on things that you actually really do not want to create or recreate so prioritize your energy put your energy in things you love to do in people that love you and love to spend energy on you on thoughts that give you happy vibes and just chuck all the other stuff like just chuck it why would you want to put energy where you're not getting anything back you know and mm, this is also a, a reminder for myself because i had been putting my energy somewhere that I, it was kind of like a wishful, wishful thinking, hoping situation. And all of a sudden I thought, hey, wait a minute, what am I doing here? This is like, I don't want this. And I don't get what I want, I get what I am being. And um, it sounds a bit like a boohoo story. <laughs> because, I, because I started with the freaky thing that I created. But actually everything is going really well. And the thing is it's that every time it feels like i go deeper and further and i create bigger things that i want you know that i not want that i would like to experience that i feel i deserve and that i feel i am worthy of and i can really step into this into this frame of Ah, oh, yeah, fucking finally. So, is there anything else I wanted to share with you? Uh, one more thing. Some of you have already seen it. Uh, I did um, a body... I uh, forgot how I called it. Body... Mm, body something meditation. And while the title might not uh, appeal to you, I suggest you listen to it anyway. Because this is about freeing up energy that is stuck if energy is stuck and it can only be stuck in your body i mean where else would it be stuck like if it's not in your body or in your auric field or in your emotional body it doesn't have to be your literal physical body which actually not, it's not so physical but 
yeah, for the sake of argument, uh, is physical. Um, so if it's stuck, you cannot use it for anything else. And when you are focusing, when you are creating consciously, you want to have all the energy that is yours freely available. You don't want it to be stuck anywhere. So check out the meditation. Um, if you have a request, if you're like, ah, yeah, I get what you're saying, but this is not a theme that I have. Like, this is not an issue that I have. My issue is this. Then let me know. Leave it. Uh, leave a comment um, in the comments, or send me an email, um, and then I can see what I can do for you. So that. I wish you a beautiful rest of the day and I see you in here soon and welcome to all the new people that have found my channel. Much much love and bye bye.